Auto collimator. An auto collimator is an optical instrument. It is a non-contact type instrument, which is used for measuring angles. They are used to align components and measure deflection in optical or mechanical systems. There are basically two types of autocollimators. Visual autocollimator and digital autocollimator. This video covers visual autocollimator. A visual autocollimator can measure angles as small as one arc second, that is, 4.85 microradians. While an electronic autocollimator can have up to 100 times more resolution. This video will cover the followings about the visual autocollimator. 1 working principle 2 construction 3 working 4 uses working principle a light ray passing from a collimating lens strikes on a plane reflector and gets reflected back in the same path this happens only if the plane reflector is perpendicular to the incident rays in this case the reflected rays fall at the same point from where they were projected. That is at point O. If suppose the reflector or the surface is at an angle theta. In this case the incident rays are reflected at angle 2 theta. And the reflected rays falls at point O dash. By knowing this distance between O and O dash, which can be denoted by X, we can find out the angle theta by using this relationship. Which says X is equal to 2 theta into f. Here, f is the focal length of the objective lens. This is the working principle behind autocollimator. Let us see the construction of autocollimator. It consists of following parts. Light source. Filter. Condenser lens. Diffuser. Objective radical. Beam splitter. Objective lens. Eyepiece. Working of autocollimator. The light rays from the light source passes through the filter. This filter selectively transmit light in a particular range of wavelength. That means only particular colors with a particular range will be allowed to pass through the filter while it absorb the remaining colors. After passing through the filter, the light beam passes through the condenser lens. Condenser lens helps in rendering a divergent beam from a point source into a parallel beam. This helps in rendering a sharper image. Then the light beam passes from diffuser, which will scatter light in some manner to transmit soft light. After passing through the diffuser, the beam of light will pass through objective radical. Then it falls onto the beam splitter. Here, the beam of light splits into two, and it gets projected on both the sides. The beam of light traveling on the left-hand side will pass through the eyepiece radical and eyepiece lens. On the other hand, the beam of light traveling in the right side will pass through the objective lens and falls on the plane reflector. If the plane reflector, which is workpiece surface, if it is perpendicular to the beam of light, it will reflect the beam of light in the same path. Hence, both the beams will fall at the same point. Let us consider this point B, O. Suppose, if the workpiece surface is at angle theta, then the beam of light will be reflected back at an angle, 2 theta. Therefore, the reflected beam of light will fall at a different point. Let us consider this point to be O dash. By knowing the distance between O and O dash, which we have denoted by X, and by knowing the focal length of the lens, we can use this relationship to find out the angle theta. This is the working of autocollimator. Uses or application of autocollimator. Visual autocollimators are used for aligning laser rod ends. Checking the face parallelism of optical windows and wedges. Electronic and digital autocollimators are used for monitoring angular movement over long periods of times. For checking angular position repeatability in mechanical systems, etc. If you are new to ADTW, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification to get all the latest video from this channel. And if you like this video, let me know by clicking on the like button.